Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm doing a end of 2021 Moomin collection video. I'm actually filming this on Christmas day. Um, it's about four right now. Um, so I want to do this obviously as a way to sort of document what my collection looks like at the end of 2021. And I'm gonna try and go through this as quick as possible. Um, a lot of things haven't changed since the last video, but a lot of things have, namely this shelf being new. And um, so we'll start off up here. So I have, as you can see, some Arabia sets. Um, bowl, mug, and plate, uh, two plushes, and that is, I think, 2019 Advent Calendar by Martin X. Um, then on here, this hasn't changed, so this is a plastic plate, as is this one. And there's a little memo game from the RC campaign they were doing. And then, obviously, some Arabian mugs. And then down here, so, see some Arabian mugs there at the front. Um, I have two of these little notebooks which i managed to find those in half price books in texas um, but they did have waterstones price tags on them so obviously they did come from the uk and um, there's some random things so i have a tray there at the back um, there's a little clean cloth with little my on it and um, that pin was from hot topic of all places and they have some random boxes that had uh, necklaces in that my wife um, now has then there's also a wallet there a the little luggage tag the finnish flag and moving down here so these exercise books at the back those are from a japanese store they had more of them but i just kind of picked you know my favorites and um, if i go back i'm hoping they have the rest uh, anyway there's some arabia spoons there obviously some plates you have the full set of this so you can see some more over here and then this is a korean play set this little boat and then some socks that i got from another japanese shop um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that shelf. And down here, obviously more Arabia uh, plate, mugs, some more plushes from the official Moomin shop. Um, there's an, another set of socks there and there. Um, and this is a comic. There is another one of these box sets, but that thing weighs a ton. Um, but yeah, I do need to get the other one. There's a stinky watch and a Moomin Valley book. And then down here, this is my snufkin shelf. I do need something to cover the back here because it seems kind of blank. Um, it's a lot of unused space. But yeah, it's a lot of Arabia things. There's a little night light. Um, snufkin bowl. Those are some tongues for, you know, cooking. Um, some plushes. That's a KFC mug in there. I have two of them, as you can see. And that's a 90s little figure. So yeah, moving on. So like I said, this shelf here is new. I knew I was getting some things for Christmas, so I needed space. Um, these are some Japanese cookies. But one of the items is this 2022 calendar. This is the official calendar. Um, as you can see, I got it open on January, which some people might say that's bad luck, but I kind of want to get it out of the way now, because I probably, you know, get to February and realize I've not put it up yet. Uh, but down here, so I've got two of these sets. Um, this, this one I got, um, a couple of weeks back actually in at the start of December and um, as you can see Christmas themed and um, this thing here I think this is new for this winter by Martin X um, yeah I'd never seen this before this year so I'm fairly certain it's new and there's the other one like I said this one I did have this I just didn't have it have any room to display it basically um, and then the two finished mugs that came out the exclusives uh, which are bigger than the regular mugs you can see compared to the regular Arabia but these figures are all from the 2022 calendar, the advent calendar. Um, they do recycle a lot of these each year, but they do a lot of, um, occasionally they do some new ones. Um, like this, for example, this is brand new, and I'm actually surprised how detailed it is. And there's also some new ones. I've seen this shot right here. Most of these are new, uh, except for Stinky. And the Philly Jonks are new as well, I believe. Then moving down, um, so, I tried to put all my black and white mugs on this shelf, like winter themed. And I have this dice game. And this dice set over here, this is brand new. I got this today. Um, yeah, it's a Christmas gift. I'd never seen that before. And then this is also a Christmas gift for my wife. Um, one of the ultra detail figures. You can see it's Snufkin. I do need to get more of those. I just never come across them. Now all of these mugs on the shelf, these are also a Christmas gift from today. So I have the the letter mugs, which I believe they do every letter of the alphabet. These are the story of Moving Valley mugs from Japan. 
best thing about these is they have little little piece of artwork on the inside and then obviously the three boxes and then these on the shelf these are all christmas gifts as well and these are all band presto or i think one of them's actually bandai and but at first glance i thought they were knockoffs but they're not it's yeah they're obviously they're all asian um this one's probably the most interesting holding a pillow sniff then as you can see especially i mean this looks like a knockoff but brand is this actually yeah that one actually says movement on it it says 1990 so yeah a lot of them are vintage i believe this one is 96 and this snuff gun is a beanbag you can hear it there don't want it to fall down there we go and this little hat fatteners and then this little my is a like, id card holder and then they have two bags this was from a japanese shop and this is the movement shop camden bag and then coming over here, I guess I'll show this first. So if you order anything from the official moving shop in Finland, chances are you're going to get it shipped in a box like this. So I just kind of keep it around. So I'll come up here. So I have this Taiwanese 2020 calendar, which I've never seen anyone else with this item. It is from a bank in Taiwan. So I just kind of have it there to fill the space. And these two little bags, so this pink one and this blue one, I got those from a... Japanese shop and there is the Diagostini that's issue two of the Builder Moomin House and um, catalog if you want to call it that not well magazine I guess and um, but it's more it's more like a playset but yeah I do need to get the others but they are quite expensive and um, then they have the mini Moomin House playset some more as you can see Arabia items and um, this one's obviously not and um, some plushes a little compact mirror Got that from a Japanese shop as well. And then a Toby book. And then down here, obviously more Arabia items. These are from the 2019 advent calendar, but as you can see, 2021 and 2019, some of them do match. They only, you know, they only release a certain amount of new ones. And um, there's another 90s figure, Stinky and a Hattie Fatner. And this is a kid's little set, plastic. Moomin's on the Riviera DVD, and of course some more, like I said, Arabia. This is plastic, obviously. And down here I have more Arabia mugs. These are the Moomin Valley mugs. Here's the last one. The Boathouse playset. More of those Advent kind of figures. And that's the Invisible Child from Oxfam in the UK. And there's some napkins. I have a lot of napkins, you can see. There's this, this stinky air freshener. I do have another one in the car right now. Um, Arabia Spoons, there's a stinky fridge magnet, Moomin Shop Camden magnet, and then another DVD there. Now down here, so you've all seen the ship in my, if you've seen my other videos, and um, that's from the 90s, I do have the box for it. I've done a full review of that actually. So I have all the figures around it. And then more of the advent calendar. Obviously some more mugs, this one's obviously Arabia. Oh, the statue, and then another one of those notebooks and then more napkins there so now let's move up here so that's the martinex house i have done a full review on that which is on my channel so check that out then the little notebook and then that's a i think it's like a reusable shopping bag and then all of the accessories that came with the house and then i have two of the moomin valley soundtracks on vinyl and there is two other colors but i don't have them yet and I guess we'll start at the top here. So this is a stinky tambourine, obviously. Probably one of the most unusual items in my collection. And then these mugs here are all from KFC, as you can see, in Japan. And um, so these these four all go inside this bigger box. Then I have a Moomin Troll plush, Moomin Papa. And um, these two things on either end, this and this, are money boxes or coin banks, whatever you want to call them. And then some more Arabia and some Gashapons at the front. And then coming down here, have obviously some more Arabia bowls and some other, you know, odds and ends, some more plushes. Another one of those notebooks, another random notebook. This is a Gashapon as well. Some Martinex figures. And then down here at the back, I have the three out of four volumes of the uh, 90s anime. Along with some 
um, Arabia spoons, some Japanese tissues, uh, Uno. Now these mugs, this one's Arabia, this one's plastic, as is this one, and this one I believe, yeah, KFC. This one's not plastic, it is ceramic, but obviously not Arabia. Then they have some, some of the Moomin books, and um, some of the Arabia mini mugs. And then coming down, so I have letters from Tove book, and that there is, I think, 2019 calendar. And then some, there's the Love Tovey book. And then one of the most expensive mugs I own, the Jubilee. This is a little Japanese book. More Gashapon. And uh, this is, I believe this is Japanese as well. Yeah. Um, Arabia, that's plastic. And then more Arabia down there. And then, don't mind this, this is Dragon Maid prints that my wife just put there. Um, so these are more of the Korean play sets. I've done reviews on all of these. Um, and then I have another Japanese book. Uh, Moving Clean Up the Ocean board game, another book. And this is like my Fin Air shelf, so I have the plane. And this is obviously a Fin Air plush. That's a backpack, believe it or not. And then there's a box for this plane, and then Moomin Popper plush. And then up here, just more miscellaneous, um, some books, little boards where you can put your mug. And that was store display for the 75th anniversary. And this is bamboo, this plate and bowl. Obviously more plushes, candle, another little book there, and a little bookmark with Toby Hansen on it. So that's it for that shelf. And then that's the Hobbit, the finished version with Tuvi Anson's illustrations. Uh, bookmark, some more little mugs there. This one is Japanese, I believe. Yeah, that's Japanese. Uh, that one's plastic. And then this is Arabia. The uh, picture. Uh, mini mugs, and then some you know odds and ends there, some Japanese socks. And then this shelf again. So I'll have some like tea boxes, gashapon, tissues. And actually, that's not tissues, that's like a little thing that opens up, like a... I don't know what you want to call it, actually. And some more mugs. Stinky. And then finally up here, just some random things. Um, a tea calendar at the back. There's a... that's, a, that's um, the Norway exclusive mug. And then there's a Moomin Day. So those are quite expensive now. There's the tea light thing. And then some... Plastic. That's from the, the children's set I showed you the box for. And then this is like a sweet or candy container. Same as this, actually. But that's pretty much it. Um, for this area, anyway. Obviously, I have my two skateboards down here that everyone seems to enjoy seeing. But yeah, that's it for the main collection. I do obviously have another shelf, but nothing has changed on that. So I, I just wanted to mainly show you this. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this was the main new addition. Everything else is pretty much the same. But uh, yeah, so I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. And I'll be back again with more videos soon. So thanks for watching.